Right. Time for a proper introduction. I'm Gaius Warzel, former member of Class 7 and proud Nord. Good to meet you, new Class 7.
Lotus stepped in it now. That will not be necessary. Excuse me, Mr. Future Duke? Hmm? Oh, the girl from yesterday. My name is Muse Egret, granddaughter of Count Egret. I just wanted to say that I hope they make the right decision at the upcoming conference. Oh, so you're Count Egret's... <clears throat> I see. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Farewell now. <laughs> Have a pleasant night.
Ah, I've heard all about you. This is the first time we've met in person, isn't it? I have to admit, I'm jealous of you. These days, I'm pretty much an Imperial Noble. Been a while since I've been back to Nord. It's a pleasure to meet you, Brigadier General. To be honest, I was away for a bit myself. Well, between the Society and the Conference, tomorrow's bound to be a big day. May the wind and Adios be with you, Gaius. Good luck completing your mission. Yes. Thank you for the kind words. But it's not a mission. It's my duty as a member of Class 7. illuminated by hundreds of flames. So, this is Ordis's famous summer festival. <laughs> it's just like Angelica was saying. We should take the time to enjoy ourselves while we're here. Yeah, a little bit of fun won't kill us. It might be a bit early, but now seems like the time to strike if you're looking for souvenirs. Woo! <laughs> I'm on it! <laughs> I just hope I can find a decent bar around here. You're underage. No decent bar would serve you. Instructor, the lights are so romantic. How would you like to go for a walk along the harbor? Just the two of us. Could you not? This has become the norm. Is so soothing beneath a glittering sky. It's almost magical. It feels like the perfect way to welcome the spirits of animism.
Listen, I'm done with this. I'm tired of doing every damn thing you say. Oh, come on. No need to throw a fit. Look, I'm not going to force you to do anything. But you can't tell me you don't see the parallels between Sutherland and Lemaire. <sighs> yeah, it's all starting to connect. Walking that mountain road barefoot, crying the whole way. The old man taking me under his wing. Him putting me on that night train or whatever. Coming to this sparkling place, meeting you know who. <laughs> I really know some good-hearted people. I see. Just as I suspected. Son of a... Then why didn't you just tell me? If I did, would you have accepted it? You're the one who said you wanted to see for yourself. Shit. Whatever. This doesn't change my stance on things one bit. This is about the mastermind now. So stop keeping info from me. Yeah, see, that's gonna be kind of tough. I don't think you're gonna find anything good this time around. Sounds like you got a heck of a day ahead of you tomorrow. You should hurry off to bed. Wouldn't want that instructor hanging over your shoulder to get mad after all. When the hell did you... Am I supposed to apologize here or start interrogating you? That's a military communication device. Did Lecter get that for you? Bingo. It's an encrypted line. Oh, what? Uh, don't tell Milliam or Black Rabbit, by the way. They don't know about this. Anyway, nighty night, you two. It's like he's always watching from somewhere. Well, you got something to say? Not really. But Lecter's always struck me as suspicious. Can't say I'm surprised Altina isn't his only operative in Class 7. But you're not exactly part of the Intelligence Division, are you? Hell no, they don't do shit for me. I got accepted into Thor's all on my own. Scarecrow didn't pull any strings. I believe it. But if he didn't help you, why are you working with him? Huh. There was something I wanted to know. He told me that enrolling at the branch campus would be the fastest way to get that info. Lecter said that? I caught a bit of your conversation, but what exactly is it that you want to know? None of your business, that's what. Well, you gonna tell the Rakshasa on me now? Huh? Look, I give Scarecrow info, he gives me info. So yeah, I guess that does make me a spy for the Intelligence Division. Way the hell worse than the little bunny. If this got out... I'm sure I'd be expelled in a heartbeat. <laughs> the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> Wait, you're not serious, are you? You always act like you've got it all figured out, but as soon as you have to deal with something personal, you lose sight of everything else. <sighs> sorry, sorry. No need to glare at me like that. It's just, with Altina here, the whole spy thing is kind of irrelevant. Besides, do you really think our principal would expel you? Well, you know... Look, I'll tell you right now, that's not going to happen. <laughs> if anything, she might egg you on. I can just imagine it. A spy, are you? Let's see you try to attack me in my sleep. Stop, just stop. Don't even joke about that. Damn, I'm surrounded by nut jobs. I get it, I'm safe from the principal. But what about you, Instructor Reen? Even if you don't punish me, you've got to have some problem with this, right? I'm right under your nose feeding Adios knows what info to the Intelligence Division to get what I want. Hell, that's the only damn reason I joined Class 7. So how does it benefit you to have some shady asshole like me in your class? Do you really think I'm a teacher just because it benefits me? Listen, Ash. I'm grateful to be where I am right now. But for the longest time, I hated my life. I hated being separated from my classmates after only one year. I hated being the Ashen Chevalier. 
forced to follow the government's every demand. I hated that I was abandoned as a child and that I had these powers I couldn't control or explain. To top it all off, I even lost someone very close to me. But I refuse to believe all of that suffering was for nothing. And I think you're the same way. Huh. I don't know your background, but I can tell that you were loved by the person who raised you. Because despite your prickly exterior, you're a caring person, and you're always there for your friends. Yeah, you would think that. What, you don't think that's important? Like I'm just keeping you around for your acts? I mean, I think you're an impressive enough fighter, but everyone has room for improvement. For example, Kurt might be struggling right now, but he's a genius with those swords. Even Yuna, her police academy background gives her a toughness and perseverance that no one else can match. Altina, meanwhile, is a top-class agent. Not a lot of students can make that claim. And Musei... Well, I'm still trying to figure Musei out. <laughs> yeah, I think I get it. I'm just trying to say that one way or another, your classmates are having an impact on you, and vice versa. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is up to you to decide. You asked me how your presence in the class benefits me, but that's not what matters. As long as you find meaning in what we're doing, you have a place in Class 7. I just want to be there to help you along. That's all. You... Can you say that stuff with a straight face? Did I get dropped into some radio drama when I wasn't looking? Hey, if you've got a problem with being in special operations, take it up with the principal. She threw you in with us. But just to let you know, I'm happy you're in my class. I mean that. Ah, oh, stop! You're gonna drown me in all this sap! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna turn in. I'm done for the day. You're tiring me out with all this mushy, soul-barren stuff anyway. Can you blame me? It's a perfect night for it. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Tomorrow's gonna be a shit show, right? If you plan on leading us, you're gonna need your sleep too. No kidding. Night, Ash. And when do you plan on going to bed? <laughs> oh, you caught me. I really wasn't trying to eavesdrop. I was just so worried about tomorrow that I needed to take a walk to clear my head. By the way, why don't you treat me the way you treat Ash? <gasps> Wait, are the two of you love- Absolutely not. But I'm guessing you overheard what Ash and I were talking about. Oh, don't worry about that. My lips are sealed. I do admit that Ash's private life has me curious. But I'll refrain from digging up his secrets for now. Please do. I have a feeling that if you looked into it, he wouldn't have any secrets left to keep. Oh my. Did you purposely let me listen to your conversation? Yeah, I noticed you right away. When I was telling Ash about how you can all inspire and elevate each other, I was speaking to you too, albeit about a different topic. Hmm. These last two weeks have revealed something to me. Kurt's a genius. Ash is a ball of talent. Yuna's stronger than your average person, and. Altina has a special history. But you? You're different than any of them. And it's a little unnerving. <laughs> your attitude, your jokes, your every move, they're all carefully calculated. You know exactly what effect you're having on people. And it seems like it's child's play to you. Ash called you a harpy, but that doesn't begin to cover it. 
You're like a top-level chess player, thinking hundreds, if not thousands, of moves ahead. Am I wrong? I must admit, I'm surprised. I knew you were smart, Instructor, but it's like you've stripped me bare. To think you'd cut to the core of me so quickly. <laughs> How did you manage to do that? How did you see through me? Did it perhaps have something to do with your eight leaves, one blade training? It's called the unclouded eye. I rid myself of any preconceived notions and looked towards someone's true nature. <laughs> what is this? My head feels so fuzzy. <laughs> I see. So, if you were to master it, nothing could escape your sight. I really do want you. Not as the Ashen Chevalier or as Elise's big brother. I want you, Instructor, heart and soul. <laughs> Whew. That was a close one. I've told you this before, don't tease adults like that. Some of them might not take your little jokes in stride. Hmm? <laughs> what a shame. Someone I looked up to once taught me a spell to make the gentleman fall for me. <laughs> but I imagine the scent was an important part of it. I wonder if there's some way to get that lavender. Are you? No, you couldn't be. No, no, I'm not a witch or anything. But I did get the opportunity to talk to a certain someone. Though I'm afraid that's all I can say. <laughs> uh, all right, then I won't even try to ask. Seriously though, it's time for bed. We've got an early start tomorrow. Ooh, is that an invitation? I'd sleep like a baby next to you. Definitely not. Now be a good girl and go to sleep. No, oh, no fair going all dad mode on me. Oh, well. Good night, Instructor. Sweet dreams. Likewise, Muse. Oh, but one last thing. You and your classmates do have an effect on each other. You might be able to limit that, but you can't escape it. I'll be watching to see how that changes you. All of you. <sighs> I understand. Sleep well, Instructor Reed.
nice to see that jamming device worked. Hey, uh, you're both totally late, though. You missed out on a real sexy show. Sheesh, you've really settled into being an enforcer, huh? I don't know. Enforcers tend to slack off more than her. Oh, but at least we're in time for the next act. What a hassle. Let's get this started already. <laughs> we'll need to take great care not to disturb the summer festival. This is truly an honor. Here, a reward. Keep it up. Artillery fire! Yeah, it was crazy loud for how far away it was. It's gotta be ridiculously big. The, the railway, railway cannons. cannons! Emergency! Everyone, to your station! Bring the comm system up! I want the location of those cannons now! All Panzer soldats, prepare to sortie! Combat tactics, form up! Check your equipment, then double check it! Firepower. Those are the new Rhineford Railway Cannons. The ones Marquis Ballad commissioned for the Imperial Army? Sounds like they're to the east. Maybe 800 cells away. But that would be... The Canyon! Ballastine here. <sighs> I finally got through. Are you okay? Yeah, we're fine over here. But all four of the railway cannons Ballad Commission were stolen. Seems like they got moved to the canyon north of Raquel. Right where that cryptid showed up. How could they possibly have moved the railway cannons there? Well, they do have Caterpillar track vehicles that can run on their own. Even with those, is it really possible? Heard from one of Ballad's soldiers they saw one of those ions. It just put its hand up and all the railway cannons vanished. Spatial transposition. The white ion can control space. That's how they moved all four cannons. The lighthouse! How horrible! We must evacuate the citizens at once. I'll head to the canyon. Oh, me too! Then let me join you. I'm going too. The bike should speed things up. Your Excellency, Patrick, we're leaving orders to you. You can't be serious. 
you really want to send all our troops into the canyon? That's right. We must recapture the railway cannons at all costs. And they better be unharmed. I spent good money on those cannons. What about protecting Ortis? And we can't just abandon our post here in Juno. What sort of protection can your men offer against those cannons? You can leave the naval fortress to me. My bodyguards will escort me over there post-haste. 